Okay, Kerry, uh, as a Clippenball fan, and I think uh, most of them will agree with me, we absolutely love to hate you because you were exceptional. And as Jerry alluded to earlier, you scored that many goals, it was sickening. But you were brilliant, you, you wound up the crowd, you had all the tricks in the book. Tell us about that. Uh, well, you're right. I used, to, I used to have this knack of scoring against Cliftonville. And, and the, the, the strange thing was, when I was at Linfield, we couldn't play at Cliftonville Solitude because of the troubles. Yeah. So I moved to Portadown. And there wasn't any love lost between Cliftonville and Portadown either, as you know. <laughs> so I can remember one game, we're up at Solitude, and I think we've, I think we've won maybe 3 or 4-1. Jerry might be playing it, can't even remember. Anyway, I'm getting helters. I think I've scored, and I'm blowing them kisses, I'm winding them up. I've got big Mickey Donnelly running away the park trying to kick me, can he kick me? I'm honest, I'm hitting him with a custard pie here and a custard pie there. <laughs> anyway, we play. We finish a game. I'm after the park, and I want the fans. Give me. You're getting this. You're getting that. You're getting this. And I'm going. I need bother. Another blow the kiss off into the dressing room. We get washed, changed. Chap at the door. Me secretary Cliftonville. He says, Gary Peebles here. And I said, I'm here. And he says, Gary, you can't go outside. There's a there's a crowd of about thirty people being for you. You can't go. I'm like, what am I going to do? Because that was the days where you had to go and catch a flight. So the flight was like quarter past six for Aldergrove. I said, I'm going to go. So it used to be a wee guy, Jackie Tedford, God rest him. He was a taxi driver. He used to wait after the game, take the Scottish boys straight up. But he was waiting outside, and I couldn't go outside. I had to go. Remember, there's a car park in Solitude. Yeah. So yeah. I had to go out there, walk down the track, go in a police van, hide myself, go out there, drive up, is it the Cliftonville Road, they call it? Yeah. Drive up that road for about a mile. Phone wee Jackie to follow us. You at the police truck and in the taxi to get this, the airport. <laughs> Honestly, it was absolutely nuts. Because I'm, it's all about a banter, but they were just going. Because I used to just ramp it up, and I thought, oh, I'm, I thought a bullet. You say there about solitude. I, I remember Limfrey weren't allowed to play on it. Well, I played in the first game when they were allowed back. I don't know, were you playing, Jerry, the first game? Linfrey were allowed back at Solitude. Do you know what? I actually went to Ballymena about two days before, so I, I'd missed it. Oh. Or, or I, was, I, was going, I was about to sign for Ballymena, and Quinter didn't let me play in it, and then I, I, so I missed it. I didn't play in it, no. Well, we, we you went know, to that, give you, We give you a round of applause for coming. Oh, well, listen, there's about 500 Lymphreed fans, and I think there's a 1,000 or something Clevenville or 2,000 Clevenville, but there must have been about 3,000 army men. 